Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I decided today would be the perfect day to show you my bookshelves. Um, this is actually a collaboration that I'm doing with my sweet friend, Amber. Um, she's Amber Crowley here on YouTube, and she and I both wanted to see what was on each other's um, bookshelves, and, um, and we wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to go through and kind of give you an overview of um, the three little areas in my living room that I have books. Um, this is definitely not a full um, book tour because I have several books that are out um, in the garage that usually go in our schoolroom, but all of the books I'm showing you today are on my three bookshelves in the living room. Um, and I will kind of just go through. I will show you um, kind of everything that's on each shelf and then the books that I am drawn to the most um, on each shelf. I am 100% a person who is drawn in by a book cover. And so I'm going to show you some of my favorite books from each set of shelves. This is the main bookshelf in my living room. And it kind of sits over in the corner and I have some of my special knickknacks on it as well as my books. And as you can see, I do decorate my bookshelves according to color. So let's jump right in and we will start at the top with the orange and red shelf. So up on the top of the shelf, I have um, my orange and red and kind of brown books. I also have this beautiful picture of the family I nanny and my little pop doll of Newt, because I absolutely love Newt. He and Ron are my two favorite Harry Potter characters. I also have this channel, the flannel candle that Amber sent me in my advent box last year. Um, my diffuser, which currently has lemon and bergamot and lavender in it. This cute jar that my son painted for me. And yes, a yellow pumpkin. I do decorate with pumpkins all year long. Some of my favorite books from this shelf are The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making, and this copy of Jim and Judy, which actually belonged to my mother when she was a little girl, so it has a very special place in my heart. The cover of Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children has always captivated me. This is one of the knick-knack shelves I have on this bookshelf. Um, there's a sweet picture of my mom and my brother when he was a baby, as well as a picture of my mom and my son the day he was born. This sweet little um, candle holder that is a Peter Pan candle holder that I made for a magical mix thing with Amber and all of these little sleds that were my mom's. Next to that shelf, I have my shelf with my Bibles and my devotionals on it. My favorite devotional is this one, Be Still and Let the Nail Polish Dry. And I also have this copy of Teaching from Rest, which is a great book for homeschoolers. Next up, we have the white shelf which is really white and cream, if we're being honest, because a lot of these books are a little more on the creamy, almost pale yellow side, um, but they all aesthetically look like they go together. And on the bottom here, I have the complete works of William Shakespeare, which actually belonged to my grandmother. Um, so it is a very special book. My favorite books from this shelf are Wildwood, and this beautiful copy of Wuthering Heights, which is my favorite book of all time. And my sweet friend Rachel gave this to me for my birthday. And of course, Amber's Dear Luna. I could not be happier to have this on my bookshelf. I love it. The second knickknack shelf has my salt lamp, a picture of me from when I was little, a picture of me and my mom, and a baby picture of my brother, as well as the little kaleidoscope that was my grandmother's.
My green bookshelf is one of my favorites. Um, it has this sweet little candle I made for a bookish craft challenge that I did with my friend Rachel, um, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. This beautiful copy of Belong to Me, which I was drawn to because my daughter Jillian went through a rain boot phase for the longest time. Um, and also this copy of The Doldrums, which I have always just thought was the sweetest book cover. It's actually a middle grade book, but I love it. My blue shelf also has some sweet little things. Um, this little dish was given to me by Amber. And this picture of my family um, with Princess Belle is from when we took our kids to Disney World for the first time. And she's my absolute favorite princess of all time, so it was fun to have a picture with her. Um, I love this book cover of The Miniaturist. Unfortunately, I did not love the book. I was very disappointed by the ending. And of course on Luna Time, which was Amber's first book in her Luna series, and The Secret Book and Scone Society by Ellery Adams, who was one of my favorite cozy mystery um, authors. The shelf on the bottom um, is kind of my black and um, sand colored shelf and it has some great books as well. And also the little sweet pop doll of Dumbledore. Um, I just love that Dumbledore pop doll. Some of my favorite books on this shelf are The Book of Speculation, which is an amazing book and I think the cover is beautiful. And then my absolute favorite Jane Austen book of all time, Sense and Sensibility. Eleanor Dashwood is my hands down favorite literary character ever written. And my daughter Emma is actually named after Emma Thompson who plays Eleanor in the movie Sense and Sensibility. And this copy of Snow and Rose, I think that the illustrations in this book by Emily Winfield Martin are gorgeous. Um, my kids and I read this as a read aloud last year and we were drawing all the things. Our favorite is the Mushroom Boy. The last shelf on this bookshelf is kind of a hodgepodge of things. It's mostly a bunch of hardback books, um, but it also has my little bookmark holder. And this is actually a little bowl that I painted at Polka Dot Pottery. It also has this amazing copy of the book Gnomes. Um, my mom used to always buy my husband gnome things and when she died, I continued doing it for him. And so every year at Christmas, I buy him a new gnome thing and this was this year's Christmas present. I just think the illustrations in it are so sweet um, and they have me laughing because it shows gnomes in their daily life, glass blowing, their morning routine. It's just, it's very sweet and very cute to sit down and look at. Um, and who doesn't love gnomes, right? I 
I also have my copy of the first illustrated Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and I'm hoping to get more of them this year. In addition, I have this copy of Willow and Sage magazine, and I think that this magazine is absolutely gorgeous. All of the pictures in it from the orange soap recipe um, to um, this autumn diffuser blends are just absolutely amazing. There's also um, this rose hip honey recipe. Just so many things. This magazine is aesthetically pleasing um, and has some very great tips for several different recipes. I just absolutely love this magazine. I also have this cute little cat journal and I've always just loved that he wears a bow tie. Um, it has some of my favorite poems in it. And the last thing on this shelf is my Pottery Barn bedroom book. Um, some of you may or may not know that I went to school to be an interior designer and so I always love home decor books and I just think this one is absolutely gorgeous. It has window treatment ideas, um, color inspiration, different ways to arrange your furniture, um, lighting, um, textiles, all kinds of things and it's just an absolutely gorgeous book. Over on the other little bookshelf I have that's on the opposite side of the room, um, I have just a couple special books um, and some sweet little bookish things that I've received in my bookish boxes and also from friends. Um, and this shelf also has my pink and purple books on it. As you can see at the top, I have this absolutely gorgeous copy of A Wrinkle in Time, and I think this book just goes perfectly with the couple um, willow dolls that my husband gave me. Um, and then moving down, I have this beautiful bookend that I received in my bookish box, the Jane Eyre quote, this dream big sticker book that Amber sent me, as well as these cute little rocks my daughter painted, and another book end that came in that same bookish box. Another one of these beautiful bowls from Amber and a set of bookish coasters that she sent me. shelf has this picture of my mom and I from when I was pregnant with my daughter Jillian and so many beautiful pink books one purple one and this adorable little Lego rose that my son made me for Mother's Day which still to this day remains one of my absolute favorite Mother's Day presents ever one of my favorite books from this shelf is in light of Luna which is book number two from Amber's Luna series I think the cover is gorgeous. This Daisy Jones and the Six, which I haven't read yet, but I'm hoping to very soon, which was a recommendation by Sweet Amber. So I'm super excited. Underneath the pink shelf, I have a basket that just has some library books, as well as a few other books that I couldn't fit on other shelves or that I didn't feel aesthetically fit in with other shelves. I have one of my favorites, Water for Elephants, as well as this gorgeous children's book, um, which is called The Book of Elsewhere, and it is The Shadows. My last two little bookshelves are actually two shelves on my TV stand. This first one has a copy of Nevermore, Heartless, and The Piper's Pursuit and this sweet picture of my husband and I from our engagement photos. 
My favorite cover of the books on this shelf is absolutely Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I was drawn to this book immediately. Um, my daughter Jillian has already read it and it is on my fall TBR list and I can't wait. The other shelf on this TV stand um, has my recently acquired books. They are books that I'm either borrowing from someone or that um, I just got. Um, this sweet little bluebird of happiness that I knit and um, this little glass jar full of shells and the pink candle holder. This little glass jar was actually in my Like a Dream bookish box that I received from Amber and the shells are from our trip to the beach last year and then this pretty little pink candle holder um, was in her uh, advent box I believe and my favorite cover of the books on this shelf is The Winter King which is a book I am currently borrowing from my friend Rachel. you enjoyed that little look at my bookshelves. I had a lot of fun sharing the books with you guys. Um, I will go ahead and leave all of the books on my shelves listed below um, so that you can see the titles in full and the authors. Um, and I will also leave a link to Amber's channel. Please go and check out her bookshelf tour. We're both putting them up today. Um, and please let me know in the comments below. Have you read any of these books? Did you enjoy them? Um, are you a person who's drawn to books by their cover? I would love to know. I definitely am. I get so sucked in by a book cover and if it speaks to me just from the way it looks, I definitely want to read it. And so many of the, of the books on my shelves are because I saw them and was like, oh, that looks like something I definitely need to read. So please let me know if you have read them um, and please subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you are notified anytime a new video comes out. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you so much for hanging out today. I will see you very soon. Bye guys. Bye.